This is the mighty mouse working out on a treadmill uh, and alongside it you can see a poor old ordinary mouse. And what's really remarkable about this mighty mouse is it's been genetically altered so that it's capable of trotting along at three quarters of a mile an hour, that's about 20 meters uh, per minute, for three miles at a time uh, and massively out-competing its peers in terms of stamina and just keeping going and going and going uh, just to mix up my animal metaphors rather like the Duracell bunny. The Mighty Mouse was created by Professor Richard Hansen at Case Western Reserve Cleveland and he was doing it to see the role of a particular enzyme in muscles and how it affected the way that energy is used in the metabolism of muscles and he thought by making more of the enzyme he'd get a bit of an insight into what uh, that enzyme did in muscles. What surprised him was that he ended up with mice that not only had more stamina than normal mice but remained fitter, uh, they were trimmer, weighing about half as much, and they lived up to three years of age, which is quite uh, old for a mouse, and certainly longer than wild mice. And what's also interesting is that female mighty mice uh, were able to have pups at two and a half years of age, which is remarkable given that most mice don't reproduce after they're about a year old. So these mice were really superior in many ways. But there was one downside of being a mighty mouse, and that is that there was a higher level of aggression among these, uh, these marvellous mice. These mice are fascinating for three reasons. One is that they give you a real insight into the role of an enzyme in muscle metabolism and, and new insights into how the body works. But you could imagine that this information could be abused by athletes uh, to enhance their performance and could lead to a new generation of drug abuse in athletics or even gene therapy to achieve the same effect. But equally, there could be good uses of this. So for example, in elderly people, this kind of approach could help keep muscles strong and steady in old age. And in the case of muscle wasting disease, this kind of approach could help ameliorate the effects of things like muscular dystrophy. So like any technology, there are some good uses, there are some bad uses. Uh, but fundamentally, it is an interesting piece of science.